Good evening to everybody. Welcome to another edition of Libertas. This is Tonino Habana. Yung topic natin ngayong gabi is uh, actually nanggaling ito dahil nung nakaraang linggo, yung buong bansa um, was distracted by a bullying video na nangyari sa isang exclusive school. And uh, ang ating guest ngayong gabi ay isang clinical psychologist. Walang iba kundi si Dr. Ruben Encarnacion. Good evening. Good evening. And siguro, pag-usapan natin muna, bago, bakit natin uh, ginawang raising emotionally secure children yung topic natin? Kasi yung original na ni-request ko was to discuss the aspect of bullying. Pero ang sinabi mo sa akin, isang aspeto lang yan nung raising emotionally secure children. Ma mahirap kasi dagdagan yung bullying discussion eh. Mm -hmm. Parang apparently, uh, oversimplification yan eh. Bullies are bad and victims are good. Pag sabihin mo yon, di para mo na rin ano, kinriticize yung pamilya ng bully. And I don't want to add any ano, uh, additional... Uh, tatawagin kang professional uh, opinion yan, pero delikado masyado eh. Uh, kaya naisip ko para mapaunlakan yung invitasyon mo, not to talk about bullying, but to talk about how to raise emotionally secure children with the premise that the bully was not so emotionally secure. I hope that's a safe statement, no? Without uh, judging anyone. So... So actually, um, kaya, kaya ako naman nagustuhan yung topic kasi uh, yan naman ang importante sa lahat eh, di ba? Yes. Ang punot dulo ng problema ay raising emotionally secure children. Mm -hmm. uh, meron tayong number na it ipapakita sa screen, i-text nyo lang yung mga katanungan ninyo kasi I'm sure marami sa inyo magtatanong ngayong gabi. Mm -hmm. So unahin natin yung unang tanong, why is it important to raise emotionally secure children? Ba bakit napaka-importante nun? Two reasons I can think of immediately. We want our children to be happy and productive. Happy, gusto natin masaya sila, yung masigasig, yung assertive, yung uh, bibo, yung spirit at meaning ng salita ng TV show ng bata ng 80s, yung batibot. <laughs> yun ang ibig sabihin ng salita na yun eh. Yeah, yung batibot, active, assertive, you know. Right. We want our children to be like that. And second, productive, yung useful citizens of society na yung ano, uh, nag-contribute sa ikalalago at ikabubuti ng lipunan natin. Kailangan-kailangan eh. Lahat tayo yan eh. We build our country together. And from that generalization, we build our families together. You cannot be a father or a mother without being emotionally secure. And yet there is no school that trains a person to be a good parent or a good husband or a good father. Mm -hmm. So, yun ang mga bagay na pwede natin pag-usapan ngayong gabi. Okay. So, yun mabalik na, tayo dahil okay. inumpisa natin yung usap, usapin tungkol dun sa pagiging bully. Ano ba nangyayari? Uh, saan nagkamali yung isang magulang sa isang bata na naging bully? Well, may mga warning signs pag ano, pag bata pa, yung cannot... Uh, Delay gratification. Ngayon, in the age of technology, mga millennials, instant gratification tayo eh. So, yung mainipin, gusto nila, palagi silang panalo, no? Tapos, uh, yung uh, wala silang kalaro, wala silang ball games, wala silang outlet ng aggression. Mga tao, simula pa, puro pindot ang laruan eh. They don't run like we do, like we used to do. They don't run around, play with playmates, fight even with playmates, fair fights. Ito, ano eh, yung, well, uh, isa rin sanhi yun, no? yung may victim kasi hindi lumalaban. Mm -hmm. May kikwento ako kung okay lang. Okay. Uh, yung victim, binubuli siya ang grade 1, grade 2 sa isang boys school kasi nerd siya. Medyo mataba siya, hindi siya athletic. Aba nung grade 3, grade 4 na, Singapore mat, ginamit niya as an asset yung kanyang katangian na matalino siya. Sabi niya, nerd for hire. nag siya ng mga kaklase niya ng Singapore mat. He gained some popularity. No? He gained some acceptance. Hindi na siya winubuli. That's how he fought back. That's what many of our children need to learn. No? How to fight back. Yung mga bully na ano, uh, sabihin na natin hindi sila secure, 
nung bata sila, meron silang insecurity na kailangan nilang palabasin na mas malakas sila, mas magaling sila than they really are. Eh, ibang kwento yun eh. No? But I really do not want to judge the parents. No? Oh, hindi, hindi natin ginajudge yung particular incident na yun, pero gusto rin natin malaman kung bak, what led to a child to become a bully and what leads to a child to become a victim. Kasi dalawang bagay yun. Dalawang bagay yung binanggit mo eh. Yung victim, I think malinaw yung sinabi mo. Ngayon dahil sa teknolohiya, uh, mga bata ngayon, imbis na naglalaro sa, lan, naglalaro sa labas, uh, uh, physical physically improving their uh, skills, eh, naglalaro na lang sa computer. Tapos gaya, gaya na sinabi mo, nagiging nakaglue lang sila sa screen ng computer. Mm. Alam mo, simple Yung mga playground, eh. hindi, na na, mm. hindi na nalalaruan. Yung pag-akyat, yung pag-akyat sa puno. Simple lang ang sagot eh. Nasa pagpapalaki ng mainly yung tatay. Mm -hmm. Kung yung tatay meek and assertive, humble, calm, chances are ganun din yung anak niya. Mm -hmm. Siya yung nabubuli. <laughs> If the father is loud and assertive and aggressive, chances are dun magwamana yung tatay. Tuntuwa nga ako dun sa isang sine noong 70s, Back to the Future. Si Martin McFly, mm. yung tatay niya, nerd na nerd, yung ano, hindi lumalaban, yung under, gano'n. Tapos nung bumalik siya sa future, binago niya yung tatay niya. Binago niya yung tatay niya. <laughs> ginawa niyang, ano, ginawa niyang mas matapang, ginawa mas niyang... Mas emotionally secure. <laughs> oh, in his, ano siya eh, di ba? Adult na siya, si, ano, si Martin McFly, na bumalik siya sa pagkabata, sa past niya, as an adult. So he was wiser and he helped his father in the past to become more assertive, to court his mother. No? <laughs> Kailangan huwag ka magpapatalong, ligawan mo eh, nanay ko yan eh. No, yung mga ganun. Well, uh, at least si Marty McFly may chance na pumunta sa future or back, back to the past para ayusin yung problema. Pero sa ngayon, ang importante ngayon, kung ano ba yung trait ng father, yun ang nagiging trait ng anak? Most likely, uh, may katotohanan yung ano, like father, like son, mm -hmm. masalita. No? Self-esteem comes from the father. Eh. Gusto ko nga ikwento, yung nanay, necessity yun. No? Kailangan, kailangan, yung nanay nandun sa baby until 8 years old. The mother is an absolute survival necessity. And the mother has to be terribly sick for her not to carry out her maternal duties. Mm -hmm. The father can disappear for all the baby cares and he will not be missed, except for the diapers, the material provision. No? But if the father still comes to the baby at zero, one, two, sings him to sleep or her, you know, changes her diaper, shows her she's important, the baby, that is self-esteem. Sa tatay nagmumula ang self-esteem. Ah, ganun pala yun. Oh, hindi sa nanay. Sa, hindi nanay, sa nanay, security, safety, emotional security mm -hmm. sa nanay. Mm -hmm. That the world is safe. That I can trust people. That the world is good. That people will attend to my needs sa nanay yun. So if a father is a pushover, will it necessarily follow that the child... Passive. Passive? Kung passive yung tatay, mahina ang loob ng anak. Ah, okay. Kung passive yung Pero tatay. kung super aggressive yung tatay, eh, so, masasobrahan. <laughs> yun, yun ang nagiging... So, most likely, the, the if a father is a bully, or was a bully, will the son also be a bully? Oh, simple, sa restaurant. Uh -huh. If the father is brusco sa waiter, yes. kita ng anak yun eh. Kagayahin niya yun, paglaki niya. Binata pa lang siya, ganun na siya sa waiter. Ano siya, yung uh, pushy, yung ano, yung uh, ano, bossy. Bossy siya sa waiter in that simple example. So it carries eh. So sinusundan lang ng bata yung ugali ng tatay? Oh, in general, no? Uh -huh. In general. At the same time, merong reaction formation na tinatawag. Meron dahil daddy ko, babaero, pipilitin ko na paglaki ko, hindi ako ganun. Bakit? Okay. Kasi naawa ako sa nanay ko. So may, 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 may reaction na reaction kakaiba. Oh. Oh. But still, that reaction formation is an intention, internal motivation, na pwedeng buwagin ng nature mo. Mm -hmm. no? Yung nature mo, medyo bully ka eh. So medyo may pagkabargas ka pa rin somehow. 
but you have that good intention, good for you, na hindi ka bang bababae. Halimbawa, no? tulad ng tatay mo. So, what are the ways ah. to raise uh, an emotionally secure child? What are the basic principles behind raising an emotionally secure well, child? Uh, siguro, sagutin ko yan in a roundabout way kung mm -hmm. pwede. No? Yung stages, yung stages ng, ano, ng uh, development from 0 to 12. No? Yung first stage, 0 to 2, yun yung trust versus mistrust. I'm using Ericsson. Uh, Eric Erickson. Age so, no? 0 to 2. 0 to 2, yes. So, pag, 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 zero, pag bata pa, hanggang 2 years old. Uh, that is, ano, trusting the goodness of others and the world. Okay. Trust versus mistrust, ang crisis na yan. So, halos From, wala pang malay yung infant. Wala pa. So, anong kailangan gawin ng magulang? Uh, kung develop age? trust. Develop trust. Ah, develop na, trust. Pag umiiyak, punta ka. Oo. Uh -oh. Diba? Pero pero yung mga like yung sa western sa western uh, uh, thinking eh pag umiyak pinababayaan yung bata, di ba? Uh, sa uh, Pilipino hindi eh. Uh, ano hindi ba hindi ba pag, salungat yun dun sa Pag 0 to 1 kailangan eh survival yun eh. Okay. Pag umiyak ang bata, may algorithm ang magulang, oh, di ba? Oh, oh. uh, almost all mothers and It, some fathers yes. either of five things yan, di ba? Oh. Wet, hungry, di ba? uncomfortable, may algorithm ka eh. So, pagka-infant pa lang, kailangan, ina uh, pag umiyak, uh, kailangan binibigan ang attention. Yes. In contrast to yung mga pinanganak sa orphanage, no? yung given up for adoption, na iyak na sila ng iyak, basa na sila, uncomfortable na sila, walang dumarating. Okay, ang, ang bilis lang ano, we'll, we'll be going for the break. I-text nyo po lahat ng mga katanungan ninyo doon sa number na Plinash namin. Babalik kami at sasagutin ni Dr. Encarnacion lahat ng mga katanungan ninyo Napaka-importante nitong topic na to. This is Tonino Obana of Libertas. Don't go away. Welcome back to Libertas. This is Tonino Abana. Our topic for tonight is raising emotionally secure children. And our, our guest is uh, clinical psychologist Dr. Ruben Encarnacion. Uh, Pinag-uusapan na niya yung mga different stages ng, ng buhay ng isang bata, kung ano dapat ang gawin ng magulang. So, nandun tayo sa 0 to 2. Yeah. Tapos ang 0 to 2, 3 to 4. Three to If four. 0 to 2 is the oral stage, Freud yan, ano? Uh -oh. Yung 3 to 4 is the anal stage. Uh, the conflict there is autonomy versus shame and doubt. It's letting in, keeping in, natututo natin gamitin yung sphincter, na? yung puwet. It's keeping in or letting out. We get power and we develop the ability to say no. No, yun yung autonomy versus shame and so, doubt. So, nagka, yung from age 3 up to anong four. age? 4. to 4. Nagkakaroon ng independence yung bata, natuto yes. na maglakad, and starts uh, to say no. Starts to say no. So, Kaya yung, yung, yung magulang, anong gagawin? Sasawain? No, no ng no, di ba? Oo. Uh -oh. uh, well, ang ano dyan, basic dyan, the toilet training mm -hmm. has to be very natural. You let the child go when he feels like going. Importante pala yung toilet Importante training. Importante yan. When you're on a trip, sabihin ng bata, nahihi ako. Okay. You have to stop. <laughs> paano have, kung hindi? Paano uh, kung pag paano kung inignore mo yung yun ang, yung bata ano, magiging nag, bully ba siya? Nagkaka-conflict, <laughs> nagkaka-conflict. Nagkaka yung autonomy, parang shame and doubt ang malalabas. The boy or or daughter becomes shameful and doubtful. 
of her bodily you know urges okay so yun yung second stage yung third stage is initiative versus guilt four to six years old ang theme naman nun, I can because I am. Nagkakaroon ng gender comfort. Yung alam mo lalaki ka, alam mong babae ka, at that age, 46, okay. no? Alam mo yung gender mo. Uh, also, at that age, alam mo na kung bading ka. Oh, at that Al- age? Alam mo na, yes. Okay. Ano dapat ang reaction ng parents at that age? Ano dapat ang gagawin ng parents at that age? Anong Tanggap. advice mo? <laughs> Tanggapin. <laughs> hindi, hindi pa naman nila alam eh. Pati yung bata, Oo. hindi pa siya magka-come out Oo. Oo. <laughs> until about 21. Okay. No? Doon lang siya magka-come out. Pero 4 to 6, alam na niya yun. Na yung laruan niya, gusto niya malambot. <laughs> Ayaw niya ng uh, trucks. And, so yun yung, uh, alam na ng bata yung gender niya. So uh, uh, will, will the mother, will the, a woman, will the girl be more will be closer to the the mother the mother t- Ayan, dresses ano her up uh, by her dolls or the uh, guy naman bibila ng barel or paano yun ang ang maganda gender free eh. mm-hmm. we raise our children gender free hindi natin sila ipapako doon sa gender biases mm-hmm. guns and trains for boys dolls and so, but how do you affirm you, you mentioned that, it's, that that they realize na babae or lalaki how do you uh, affirm Observe their natural strength. That's very good. Observe. Basta ah, okay. may strength. Encourage ng encourage. Papaturuan mo na ng taekwondo. Hindi <laughs> 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 naman. Na actually, ma, importante yun. Eh. Kung oh. ano yung hilig nila. Kung mahilig mag-drawing yung anak mo. No? Alukin okay. mo. Na, oh, would you like to take art lessons? Pero kung humindi, huwag mong pilitin. Okay. May mga bata na hindi, na hindi mo dapat pilitin. Oh, magaling ka pala mag-swimming. Halika, swimming classes tayo. Kung ayaw, may dahilan yung bata okay. kung bakit niya ayaw. So Again. that's the I can because I am gender comfort. Tapos yung next is industry versus inferiority. Anong age naman yun? 7 to 12. Okay. Ano yung that's the early childhood. That's working and playing with my hands. Shaping my surroundings and solving problems. So what does the parent do at that stage? At that age, alam na ng lalaki na lalaki siya alam na ng babae na babae siya and those in between aram na rin nila no at that stage 7 to 12 boys stay with boys okay. and girls stay with girls it's a genderless age and they learn to work with their hands they learn construction they learn to turn a screw hammer a nail mga bata babae they play house no tindahan lutulutuan ganon so uh, what's the role of the parent at this age ah uh, So that Sports. Kailangan yung tatay na ikipaglaro mm-hmm. sa anak nila. Yung What tatay, uh, pag-aakyat yung bata sa puno. No? Yung nanay will instinctively, no, don't go up, you might fall. Ang tatay will instinctively, sige, akyat ka, I'll catch you if you fall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See the difference between the father and the mother. Pero pagbigyan natin ito ng text, ano? given ano that children naturally inherit the values traits of their fathers, What would a child of low self-esteem do in order to get away from his emotional instability that he got from his father? Ang tawag dyan, corrective experiences. Okay. Meron tayong corrective experiences na pinagkakaloob sa atin ng karanasan sa buhay. Meron tayong mga teacher na magagaling. No? Corrective so experience that, that, that only goes to show na uh-huh. even if the father is, uh, let's say, weak, He can also get out of that mold yes. by this corrective experience. Yes. Meron tayong tito mm-hmm. na matino. Mm-hmm. Tapos, kunyari, high school, nagsisleepover na tayo. Merong tatay ng kaklase natin mm-hmm. na magkakaroon ng impact sa atin. O teacher, pag first year high school ka, teacher mo si Pagsi. <laughs> Halimbawa, uh, sa, ano, sa skwela. Uh, yung teacher na hinahangaan mo, These are corrective experiences that help a child as he grows up to overcome whatever pagkukulang uh, ng tatay okay. niya. This, this also goes the, the same way for uh, uh, children of OFWs na wala yung father. Mahirap yun na problema. Mahirap yun. Marami akong pasyente kasi na ganyan ang kaso eh. Nagkakaroon ng ano, ADHD. Bakit? Attention deficit. Kasi... Wala sa libro ito. Ang nasa libro ay 80% of ADHD are boys. Nasa mm-hmm. libro yon. 
wala sa libro pero nakita ko sa practice ko since 1992, Filipino ADHD boys are reacting to a disturbed relationship, problematic, troublesome relationship with their father. It's as if inuuntog nila yung ulo nila sa dingding, trying to get the attention of their father. Eh kung wala yung father, nasa abroad. Nasa Ayun Saudi. na eh. Kaya nga na ADHD eh. Mm. Yung bata. So it's a reaction. Oo. O kaya, pag, ano yan, hindi, uh, the data is all there, no, sa kliniko, but I haven't had the time to write it up. Uh, research paper yan eh. But that's what I have seen in my practice. Filipino ADHD is a problematic relationship between boys and their fathers. Tapos, ano ulit yung tanong po ninyo? Ano yung tanong natin? Hindi, ah, yun nga. Uh, paano nga mangyayari kung, kung ano, kung weak yung father, kung absent yung father, paano niya aayusin yung sarili niya? Corrective experience. Corrective experience. Yun. Yung ADHD uh, na bata na wala yung father dahil OFW, nakokorekt ba yun? Often, the corrective experience is the therapist. Ah, the therapist. Yung doktor. Oh, doktor. Magpi-play therapy yan, six sessions, mm. magkakaroon ng warm relationship, magre-respond yung bata. Ang bata ang bilis. Okay. Ang Pero bilis pwede, pwede bang magkaroon ng surrogate father, like a tito or a teacher, ah, na, nga. na yeah. tatay yung tatay or yun magiging yun. father figure ng yun bata? Na, yun na yung corrective experience. Yun yung corrective experience. Na, so ano pa yung susunod? Ah, uh, yun na. You know, working in industry versus inferiority. Hanggang 12. We stop at 12. Okay. Children. Ang next doon, adolescence na. Identity so, na. Uh, so, during so, the formative years, no, up to 12, 0 to 12, gaano kahalaga yung parenting during that time? Ang parenting is the ano, primary guides yan eh. The mother and the father. Sa culture natin, more the mother, no? Pero... Starting in the 80s, with happens to be the movie Kramer vs. Kramer mm -hmm. in 1982. That movie ushered in the new male, eh. mm -hmm. the new father na nagdadala ng anak sa pediatrician, nagdadala ng anak sa playground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yung sining yun ang oh. ano, eh, landmark of the new father of the 21st century. Anyway, uh, primary guide yung parents towards what skills? Sensory awareness, visual motor integration, abstract reasoning, verbal comprehension, multiple step logic, tsaka emotionally, handling feelings, mm -hmm. no? and social adjustment, pakikipagkaibigan. Yun ang responsibility ng magulang. Okay, may text tayo dito. Ano? Sir, yung bading ang bata, may pag-asa ba maging tunay na lalaki? in the age, mga six years old na obserbahan? Alam mo, ang sagot ko dyan, maging tunay na tao. Kung bading yung four to six years old, sana maging tunay na tao, mabuting tao siya. The gender does not matter. Eh. So po, bayaan uh, lang? Oo, oh, it's... Hindi, di ba? Sikat, hindi, sikat yung sining book. Sa psychology, pinanganak siya ng ganun eh. The moralist will frown on that statement, no? But pinanganak siya ng ganun. That so, is what the evidence so, overwhelmingly says. Walang, walang magagawa para ituwid. <laughs> I mean, may sikat na sikat yung sine, uh, kahit nung araw na pa, panay ulit, ulit yung bonjing, di ba? Okay. Tapos gino, pinasok siya sa, sa military para lang tumi, dumiretso. <laughs> Hindi naman siya bading, iba yung bonjing, di ba? Parang ano uh, lang siya. Uh, mama's boy. Oh, mama's uh, boy. Oh. Mama's boy, uh. So, uh, ano yun? Lalabas ang natural. Lalabas at lalabas ang natural. Pag lumabas na yung natural, pag nag-come out yung anak natin, the worst thing we can do is to reject our son. Parents have come to me. Hindi naman sinasabi in these terms, no? But in effect, please fix my son. I think he's gay. <laughs> ano ko, repairman? <laughs> <laughs> yung nag, kung ganun yung attitude ng nanay, aba, hindi yung bata ang may problema, yung nanay ang may problema, hindi niya matanggap na ganun yung anak niya. <laughs> Oo. Ito, may relasyon, ito isa pang text, ano? may relasyon ba yung pag, pagiging emotional, pag, pag grace ng emotionally secure child at, at insecure child sa paggawa ng krimen ng bata pag lumaki? Yes. Merong relasyon? Meron, no. Sa anong paraan po? 
that is done by insecure children. Aside from the emotional part, the knowledge of right and wrong, the conscience mm -hmm. can be sick. Pero emotional din lahat yun eh, if you come to think of it. These are all the result of how healthy the boy or girl is emotionally. Yung gagawa ka ng krimen, paglaki mo, magda-drugs ka, mag-alcohol ka, pati yun, uh, kahit ano eh, emotional eh, emotional uh, napabayaan. Kailangan ko sabihin, uh, Tonino, kailangan ko po sabihin na lahat ng magulang ginagawa ang makakaya nila. I do not believe through the cases I've seen, I've seen cases of children where the parents have made terrible mistakes. As terrible as not showing their children love. Kaya by 18 to 23, depressed ang bata. Hindi minahal. No experience of having been loved and affirmed. Ang sagot ko doon, nakakagalit sa umpisa, no? nung mas bata pa ako, nakakagalit, nakakainis sa magulang. But when you think of it, Hindi sinasadya ng magulang yun eh. There is no such thing as a bad parent. Only parents who were raised a certain way by their own parents. Like, akala natin, 60s pa rin. So yung ginawa sa atin ng nanay-tatay natin, ginagawa pa rin natin. More in the 80s, ngayon kasi ang advantage natin, mass media, including social media. We have more information eh. Hmm. Nakikita natin sa sine, nababasa natin sa dyaryo, sa magazine, proper parenting tips. We are more informed. We have less excuses to make bad mistakes. Pero walang magulang na wishes bad or intentionally does wrong to her children. Okay, we're going to go for a break. But before we go for the break, I'm going to ask this question and keep it hanging. Tuloy nyo lang yung mga text nyo, babasahin ko mamaya. Na, nabanggit ninyo yung media, yung social media. Dahil ba dito sa new media, social media, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and, and all these other forms, na-diminish ba yung role ng parent or na-apektohan ba yung role ng parent sa influence ng bata? This is Donino Habana. Don't go away. Sasagutin ni Dr. Encarnacion yung mga katanungan ninyo. Welcome back to Libertas. This is Tonino Habana with our special guest, Dr. Ruben Encarnacion, clinical psychologist. Pinag-uusapan natin ngayon yung raising emotionally secure children. At yung tanong ko before the break is, dahil sa social media and new media, yung distraction ba na nabibigay ng new media na yun sa mga kabataan, nawawala ba o humina ba yung influensya ng mga magulang sa mga anak? We have no control over media, mm -hmm. except yung TV na mapipili natin. Ang sagot ko dyan would be, you know, uh, we need to give our children a solid first two years man lang, if possible, the first five years. Kung, mag kung magawa natin na secure, secure yung bata natin from zero to five, you're on your way. Eh. They have a built-in template, a crop detector for knowing what's good for them and what's not good for them. Sila pipili ng media nila at yung crop detector, kung yung media na pinapanood, ginagamit nila, alam nila, walang kwenta to. But, no? but should parents not allow kids uh, access to new media? Limit, so, ano, limit screen time. No? Limit By screen, screen time. time, that's TV, that's yung, ewan ko kung nilalaro pa ngayon, Anong tawag doon? Yung Game and Watch? <laughs> Meron pa ba nun? <laughs> Wala na, PlayStation na ngayon. Okay, oh, ano, limit screen time at most two hours a day. If possible, wala pag weekday. Pag weekend, yeah. And, and will you advocate uh, more physical activity? Playing yes, in the playground? Definitely. Naglalaro sa playground? Definitely. Taking a martial arts? <laughs> yeah, kailangan, kailangan yung tatay dyan eh. Sa childhood stage, yung 6 oh. to, to 12. Doon kailangan, kailangan yung tatay eh. Yung 6 to 12 na nakikipaglaro. So, ang sagot ko ulit is uh, give them a solid 1, 0 to 5 years old. I was hoping uh, that would be one of the effects of the K to 12 implementation in school. K 
kasi pag gay na yung bata at hindi na mga ilangan, akala ko, no? hindi na mga ilangan ng preschool, that would be an excellent window, 0 to 5, for hands-on parenting. So it makes sense na yung nanay ay mag-stay at home mom at that stage. But that cannot be generalized. Ano? Kanya-kanyang style yan eh. Kanya-kanyang whatever works for whatever family is different. But I was hoping that the K-12 to system would spawn solid parenting mm -hmm. from zero all the way up to K. Kasi K lang magpapasok, magpapasok uh, sa skwela yung bata. Before K, eh, mag ano, <laughs> yung parenting. Yung no? parents napaka-importante. Parenting, napaka-importante. Oh, yung pag, 0 pag to 6 ng, oh, years old, mga oh, ganun, 0 to 5. Pag mabigyan mo ng solid 0 to 5 years old yung anak mo, panalo ka na eh. Mm -hmm. The rest is supervision So, ang puhunan mo talaga dyan is oras. Correct. Yung Kasi when they say quality time, quality time. bola yun. <laughs> That's not true. Oras pa rin talaga. Quantity time is what works. Especially at that age. At that age, oh. Pero iba-ibang pamilya eh. Kung professional kayo, may sarili kayong oras, fine, that works. Pero kung empleyado kayo pareho, which is a necessity for many families, eh, ano eh, mahirap eh. Mahirap ayusin eh. So, ano, papaalaga mo sa in-laws, sa lolo at sa lola. Profeto, napakagandang tanong nito. Ano po ang importansya o resulta kung kulang sa pagmamahal Naku. ang binibigay ng magulang sa anak? Naku! Basic emotional needs of children of all ages. Okay. Pati ako, tikaw. Ha? Four A's. Attention, affection, acceptance, affirmation. The four A's. Kailangan-kailangan ng bata. Pati matanda. Yun. Kung wala nung 4 A's na yon, child grows up insecure. Ulitin mo nga para maintindihan ng mga tao. Attention, affection, mm -hmm. acceptance, affirmation. Puro pagmamahal yan, di ba? Uh, attention is quantity time. Uh -huh. no? uh, focusing on your child. Uh -huh. Eye contact. No? Affection. Mahal mo yung bata. Mm -hmm. Hinahawakan mo. No? Touch uh -huh. your child. Hindi mo okay. binabatukan. <laughs> <laughs> Affection. Uh, acceptance. Tanggap mo. Mm -hmm. Kahit na ano siya. Tanggap mo yung bata. Especially gender. No? Kung ano. Kung may ganun na kaso. And then the last is affirmation. Ina-affirm mo. Daddy, masakit ang ngipin ko. Ay, oo. Oh, naku, anong gagawin natin? Uh, ano, gamutin natin, dalhin natin sa dentista. Yung affirm. Kung ano yung nararamdaman ng bata... Segunduhan mo. That's affirmation. Daddy, masakit. Uy, kawawa ka naman. Ang nanay, di ba? That's affirmation. Ang nanay, may masakit. Yung bata, no? Nasugatan, nabangga. Hahawakan lang nung nanay. Hmm. Mawawala yung sakit. Magic, di ba? Hmm. That is affirmation. Paghawak nung nanay dun sa bubu, <laughs> paghawak ng nanay, natatanggal yung sakit. Magic. Inihimas, pag nilalagnat, ginaganyan lang. Napaka-importante is... nung pagmamahal ng nanay, yes. nawawala lahat ng sakit, di ba? Yeah, that's true. Attention, acceptance, affection, affirmation. Four A's. Four I like emotional the needs. Ito, texter, I like the response to the question regarding gay kids. Tama nga po kayo, we should love them regardless of gender. Else tayo ang mga may problema. <laughs> May nag-text dito uh, yung experience niya, napakahaba lang, hindi ko na mabasa Pero basically ang sinasabi niya, uh, tinanggap ng magulang niya yung, pagka, yung gender niya at saka binigyan siya ng tamang gabay So, Tok, mabalik tayo dun sa bully <laughs> Kasi yun yung nag-trending <laughs> nag nung isang linggo eh Anong problema? Bakit nagiging bully ang isang bully? Lalo na yung bully na yun, na maliit siya, tapos nang hahamun siya ng malaking, malaking bata. Uh, overcompensation. Mm -hmm. Ano man yung emotional insecurity niya nung pinalaki siya. Uh, yun, nag-overcompensate. Binawi yung inano niya, sinobrahan niya. At, uh, bakit naman yung... niya gusto yung binividyo siya? 
Anong purpose ng pagbibideo? Para magpa, magmalaki? Parang ano? Anong? Well, uh, sakit din natin yan. Bakit tayo mahilig mag-selfie? Okay. Diba? Yun yung may selfie niya. Oh, yun yung gusto niya may nakikita siyang, nakikita Attention. niya yung may binubugbog siya. Oh, na hinahangaan siya. Hinahangaan siya ng mga tao kasi magaling siya, kasi astig siya. Uh. Ano ang epekto ngayon na naging, nagkakumalat ngayon? sa buong bansa yung video niya. Anong epekto doon sa bata? At paano matutulungan ngayon yung batang ganun? Yung bully? Yung bully. Well, ang maganda nun, he was dismissed. He was not expelled. Mm -hmm. Dismissed means you're free to reform. You're free to change your life if you want as you see fit. You're free to find your new direction if you want. Yun ang maganda doon sa dismissal. Hindi ka inano, in expel, hindi ka binlock list, no? na bawal ka na sa ibang skwela. No? So, anong advice mo sa magulang nung, nung bata? Sinong bata? Yung batang bully. <laughs> may hirap yung mga, ano eh, may mga sagot sila eh. May mga sagot sila on social media rin lumabas na, ano eh, nagpapakita rin ng kanilang attitude na hindi masyadong wholesome. Mas kahanga-hanga pa yung lumabas na message nung bullied, nung victim, na ano pa, magnanimous pa, ano pa. Yung nabully. Bukas o, oh, bukas palad pa, no? Hindi ano, hindi bengatibo. Uh, hmm. Well, Pasko pa man din, no? It's time for ano, healing. Uh, buti naman, lumabas yung decision before Christmas, so... <laughs> Ito ang magandang tanong. Paano po maibalik ang tiwala ng isang magulang sa isang anak and vice versa. Kunyari, yung nawalan ng tiwala yung anak doon sa magulang. O magulang sa anak. Pareho. Ah. The other way. Ba, mahirap yan ha. Case to case basis yan ha. Hmm. Uh, may mga ano, well, yung napag-usapan natin, siguro relevant, no? Yung kung hindi natin gusto, yung nobya ng anak natin. No? Ayun. Paano magkakapatawaran? Mahirap. Masalimuot na topic eh. Pero, tinatanggap eh. Kasi pinalaki na natin yung anak natin. Ginawa na natin lahat ng magagawa natin. We have to respect his decisions. We have to respect his choices. If he is in the age of majority, no? uh, older than 21, ganyan, eh, may isip na siya para magpasya at baguhin yung kanyang pasya kung gusto niya. At ang masakit at maganda at the same time, siya masusunod eh. Hindi tayo eh. Hindi ba? Hmm. So, dami pa mga nagtatanong dito. <laughs> uh, how about children without dads? Does that affect the emotional well-being? Lalaki, pwede bang mabuti yung, mabuti yung bata? This is for single moms. Single moms, basically, itong tanong na to. Yung, for single moms, yung walang tatay yung, yung anak, paano yung ano? How, how again, can they cope? Ano, again, it's very difficult to generalize, so I can only quote cases. No? Mm -hmm. Yung mga cases ko ng single mom, well, happily, Marami sa kanila, nagkakaroon ng bagong partner. <laughs> Pag magkaroon ng bagong partner yung single mom, matino naman yung single mom, high priority sa kanila na ipakilala yung kanilang boyfriend sa kanilang anak at high priority sa kanila na tanggapin ng kanilang boyfriend ang mga anak nila. Kung maga priority nila yung anak, not the boyfriend. No? So napakagandang bagay. I've seen that happen several times among my patients. Mm -hmm. uh, meron ding mga mother na karamihan ganun eh. Kung nag-separate early enough, what is early enough? Below 50, sabihin na natin. Kung nag-separate below 50, there's a good chance for the single mom to have a new relationship eh. Most ha, most of my cases. Siyempre may exceptions. No? Pero... In a violent relationship where the kid is always seeing violence between the parents, 
uh, how right. do you rectify something like that Let's in say, an you know, extreme case? That's a must question when I do history taking for bagong pasyente. Oh, oh. What was the atmosphere in your home like when yeah. you were zero to six years old? And I hear it too often. Away ng away, away ang ng away magulang. magulang. Oh my so God. ano epekto sa, sa anak Ay, sa bata nun? <laughs> Mababa ba yung self-esteem niya or oh, nag-withdraw? Oh. Yung, yung four A's. Oh, Yun uh, ang dating sa kanya. Wala oh, siya nung four A's. Napaka-importante pala yung four A's. Oh. Wala siya nun. Mag-away ang magulang niya, kulang siya sa attention, mm -hmm. kulang siya sa affirmation. Mm -hmm. Yung sa kanya eh, yung dating sa kanya Tama, oh. ang importante. Pag hindi peaceful yung home, Ako. yung 4As ng bata. Ngayon, ang, napakarami nagte-text na may mga tumatawag pa. Sana mabigay mo yung kung ka pwede makontak nila kasi hindi naman natin masasagot lahat ng katanungan dito sa isang oras na palabas. So, this is your chance now to uh, give your contact details kung yeah. gusto mo. Uh, please see my website, www dot rubenincarnacion dot com. Meron ako ng Facebook page Dr. Ruben Incarnacion, clinical psychologist in Manila. Pagpunta kayo dun sa Facebook page ko, press yun yung contact us that will direct you to the website. And then I am willing to tell you my cell phone on number on the air, no? Pwede nyo ako tawagan. I assure you, sasagutin ko kayo. Ako, baka so, sasagutan ko yung tatawag sa inyo. Huwag na kayo tumawag kayo. dito sa number ko. Sa kanya na lang kayo tumawag. Ano yung number? Maniwala man kayo o hindi, sinasagot ko lahat ng text sa akin. Okay. Lahat ng Facebook message sa akin, sinasagot ko. Ha? Hindi ko sinasabing masaya ko palagi. <laughs> yung iba. Sa tamang oras lang kayo tumawag. Ano yung number? Ang number ko, 0917-891-891. 2331. Repeat, 0917-891-2331. I am happily married with four children and one granddaughter. Uh, one year old, turning one year old in January. <laughs> ah, gusto mong batiin kasi tap uh, patapos si, na yung show. Si Isabella, ang aking apo at ang kanyang magulang, si Luisa at si James. Parehong doktor. Oo, oh, dalawang doktor. Tapos ang anak ko, si Ana, nanonood ngayon, at si Carlos at si Daniel, yung tatlong sumunod, tsaka yung wife ko, si Alice. Okay, so napakaganda nung topic natin ngayong gabi. Maraming salamat sa lahat ng nanood. <laughs> salamat, Doc Incarnacion, for, uh, for coming to our show. This is Tonino Habana signing off. This is Libertas. Good evening.